Hello students, welcome to Autopulsor's video classes. Today we will discuss some important uh, basic and preliminary idea regarding Fajan's rule. So what is meant by Fajan's rule? Fajan's rule is the uh, one parameter or one conception where we can get some idea about the covalent nature of ionic compound. And that parameter is known as the ionic potential. Here, the parameter or the term phi, that is cationic charge by cationic radius. So, if a cation has lost one electron, then it will form a cation, and if an element accepts that electron then it will form an anion so cationic radius becomes smaller and anionic radius becomes larger but after losing electron this cation will attract the anionic nucleus towards itself to get again neutralized and this parameter is symbolized as phi that is the cationic charge by cationic radius. So as the cationic charge increases that means phi also increases and thereby covalent nature also increases. So if phi increases then we need to memorize such parameters that is number one the ionic character decreases number two Covalent nature or covalent character increases. We know that ionic compounds are more soluble in water. So as phi increases, covalent nature increases, thereby water solubility also decreases. So solubility in polar solvent, solubility in polar solvent decreases and thereby solubility in non-polar solvent increases. Obviously, we know that ionic compounds are more stable than covalent compounds. So, as phi increases, ionic nature decreases, so their stability also decreases, melting point decreases and sometimes not true for all cases but sometimes due to this electronic transition from this to this sometimes the compound seems to colorful to us like HI2, red color so if I increases then these factors are to be followed but when the question is how can we understand that in this case phi is high? That is number one, if the cation is same, but anionic nucleus increases because we know here Na plus is constant, but as compared to the Cl minus, Br minus is larger in size, so phi is increased in case of NaBr. Because if I am a cation, then for me it is more easier to polarize an anionic nucleus which are more larger in size. So that is why phi of NaCl is less than phi of NaBr. Similarly, if anion is fixed, for example, NaCl and if we take the example of MgCl2, AlCl3, then here Cl minus is fixed, but as it is plus 1, it is plus 2 and it is plus 3, thereby what is happening, this is more electron deficient, so it will attract the Cl minus towards itself in a more rapid manner and that's why phi value is getting increased. That is why if the question comes that arrange them according to their ionic character, then obviously NaCl 
must be higher than FGCL, must be higher than ALCL3. So, to get more questions, please subscribe to my channel. And if you think that it is to be liked and shared, please do that. Thank you.